What's up, everyone? Netherboy back with more Satisfactory. Season 2, episode 37. I'm really excited about this episode. I'm also a little scared of this episode. Um, this game is both awesome in the, si in the size of it and also intimidating, I, I gotta admit. Um, it's both, right? Like, look at my base. My factory is giant. It's bigger. It feels bigger than any other game I've been in. Now, it's not bigger than my Season 2 Factorio uh, factory. That thing was monumental, okay? But it didn't feel as big as this one does, and I think that's because this is third person, or I mean first person, right? It's 3D, and that makes it feel bigger. Now, Dyson Sphere Program, again, probably bigger than this, but it didn't feel this big. And so that's both awesome, and it's also very intimidating to build these giant 3D structures and and make sure it all, it all going to fit and it all works and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, we're going to get to it. We have a lot to do today. First thing I want to do is kill tier 6. Uh, i got to dump my stuff, uh, but I don't want it to get mixed up with that stuff. Uh, it should be okay, but let's make just... I just want to make another strut thing real quick. I just want to dump all my junk. There we go. And then I'm going to pick up all this stuff. But I'm going to do it like this. There we go. And let's just slam this in. And then we'll be done with tier 6. And it will be time to work on... Um, boom! As I like to say. Uh, oh, dude, we got trains! Milestone reached. Finally, guys! We got trains! In addition <laughs> we finally got trains, guys! <laughs> anyway, good joke because... We got trains right when I loaded the game, basically. So, joke's on you, bro. Anyway, um, so that means tier 5 and 6 are done. And it's time to start working on the elevator, space elevator, completing phase three and doing tier seven and eight. Um, we're definitely in uncharted waters now. Season one never got this deep, so really excited about that. But we have a lot to do before we do, to, before we work on the next space elevator phase, okay? Um, we've got to build the manufacturing facility today, um, and we got to add heavy modular frames to that. We've got to add crystal oscillators. It's going to help us get computers, okay? So we're going to do a lot of expansion today. Um, I've also been working on hard drives. I already did get the crystal oscillator alt recipe that uses a, um, AI limiters, so we'll be putting that on there too. Ooh, interesting. That's going to have to happen before crystal oscillators. We can probably get it set up, but then we're going to have to go put in the AI limiters. I didn't think of that. It's actually not on the list. Actually, let's update it right now then. So before we do crystal oscillators, we're going to have to go over here and add AI limiters to the assembly plant. I write it down because if I don't, I'm going to forget. So we got to do that too. We got so much stuff to do, but it's amazing. But before we do that, I'm working on the manufacturing facility right now off camera, and I want to get a different kind of material for walls because I kind of want to make it look a little bit nice. And again, it's not going to be up to... The standards that most people have, I would say. But uh, for another build, it's going to be good. Oh my god, 51 tickets. Oh my god. Well, boom, dude. 51 tickets. Well, that's how you do it, guys. <laughs> that's how it's done! <laughs> Alright, let's pick... Oh my god, now I have 67 tickets. Just buy the whole, the whole thing. We're going to buy the whole shop right now. <laughs> Just buy everything. Um, I'm guessing that we just got a lot of stuff unlocked, probably, too, uh, or will soon, right? Let's just literally buy everything I would ever desire. This is like winning the lottery. Let's definitely get these hypertube things. What, in the, ooh, in the manufacturing facility, maybe I'll add some hypertube stuff to get us around since it's going to be so big. We do want Mark II clean pipe. Sure, that sounds good. I mean, it's not clean, but at least it doesn't have an indicator, right? Um, what else do we want? Conveyor wall mounts? Never been a big fan, honestly. I'll come back to that. We do want the wall stuff. Let's get the framed windows. That could be kind of neat. Um, architecture stuff. I guess roof corners. I mean, I'm just buying stuff now just to buy it. Industrial railing. I don't like that stuff. Let's get industrial walkways. I've always been curious about those guys. Uh, customizer. This is what we want to get. Let's get coated concrete. Let's get asphalt. Let's get steel wall. Let's get tar roof. And then maybe it would be cool to put some um, designs in this factory, in the facility. The man Although, I'm not sure. I'm going to be really honest. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to these things. Um, so let's actually skip that stuff. A cart, a factory cart could be kind of cool. 
Again, I don't know if we're going to logistically have the space for that. I could drive around. I could get more boombox tapes. Nah, I'm not going to get that. A thousand count? Holy crap, I didn't know they had a thousand count something in here. This is if you have too much stuff. Gas filters, that's kind of cool. Um, I think we're done. How many is that? It's not that many. <laughs> that's only 35 tickets. We have tons more. All right, let's just go on a rampage. Just go on a real spending spree here. Again, I still hate the conveyor wall mounts. Let's get all these packs. Not saying I'm going to ever use them, because I just don't have the time to do cool architecture stuff. Uh, stairs? They don't really fit. The problem, I feel like, with stairs is they don't have more components that work well with them. Like, with modern catwalks, you have all these different angles and stuff. You can go up and down. But with stairs, there's just left and right. So I feel like it's, it's like a wide open... They really need to add to that, in my opinion. Um, I guess we're good. I don't really care to get anything else. I guess we could get some of this stuff, huh? Factory icon pattern. How about arrows, dotted lines, solid lines, pathways, numbers would be good. Maybe, maybe we'll just get all these. Let's just get all these guys. What's that bring us to? 75. Okay, we got to cut back a little bit. Okay, guys, too, too big of a spending spree there. Got to cut back. Got to cut back. All right, I don't know. Uh, let's take some stuff out. Probably the stickers at the bottom. I really don't need those as much. Um, well, I'd probably these two guys first. We got to take off one more. I like the numbers. Factory icons can probably go. Okay, there we go. Boom! What a big purchase right there. Fat purchase. Big, 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 big. Big and fat. All right, now, uh, I want to put another hard drive in. Let's just add another hard drive in, which I actually have stored right here. Off camera, I did get a bunch of hard drives. They're in the box. They're in here. Uh, because I really still want to get the packaging uh, alternate recipe, the empty packages, or empty containers, or whatever they're called. Who the hell is this? Holy crap, dude. Proof aliens are watching. He's Oh my god, it's moving. Oh, I just got goosebumps. Oh, it's weird. But yeah, that's what this is is when I lost internet connection, I had to connect and I I, I did I had a new player profile. Apparently those are online. They're they're saved in the cloud. I didn't know that. So I didn't have any inventory. I had nothing. I had to, I had to get all that stuff again cuz I was offline. Weird. So that's the old profile. I don't even know how to connect to that again. I guess go offline. I don't know. So, are we ready to go? That's what I want to know. Do we have everything? Um, I'm going to take these hard drives with me because I still have to build the manufacturing facility. I'm not even done. I did set some more of these dudes up, though, cause, so they can create stuff while we're just getting ready. Oh, we have tons. Okay, good. Because I was a little worried we're going to run out. So I hooked that guy back up, too. I've been working on a bunch of stuff. In fact, let's grab my stuff here. Is that everything? I'm always worried that I'm going to leave stuff behind or do something stupid. Okay, good. I want to show you some hypertube stuff that I've done really, really fast. I did see a comment saying, hey, you know, an improvement might be when you do a time lapse, talk over it or put some music, really talk over it would be best. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. I'll do my best um, because that's more recording I have to do. And I'm, I'm trying to do one of these a day. It's an hour long a piece. Uh, in fact, it might even be better if I do these once every other day. It, it's not good for the algorithm, but, you know, it is what it is. But I'm, I'm, I, I saw your comment. I'm going to try to do see what I can do about it. So I actually put this platform in. This is going to be for the um, ore, ore warehouse. As you can see, I'm already getting it set up. I thought we were going to be doing it sooner rather than later, but it's actually going to be later. Um, let me set something here. Uh, let's get a wall and do one meter, I guess. Oh, wait. This was going to be railing. That's right. These are usually railing. I haven't had a chance to really flesh this out. But I added this stuff. This is kind of neat. It just moved the, the signs and everything. This also gets us some speed because when you go downhill, you pick up speed like you're, if you're in a booster, right? So then I also put in, since we have the extra power now, I have a tube accelerator because this is where the manufacturing facility is going to be. Before I jump in this thing, I want to show you what I built. I built this hypertube accelerator. 
And there's, let me see how many there are. We've got one, two, three, four. Well, I guess this one counts too, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's just call it twelve, I guess. Uh, because I need to go all the way up this ramp. And uh, it's pretty far. So it slows you down as you move up, right? So I needed something to really pump me. Well, watch this. That's just crap. This is a lot of fun. Yeah! <laughs> Boom! Now, there is a mod that will let you just up increase the speed at which these boosters put, you know, the uh, accelerators push you to just off using one of them. Uh, hyper Hypertube entrances. But I wanted to build a, an accelerator. I thought that'd be a lot of fun. I did it. And there's one for the return trip, but I don't need it as much because it's going downhill. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. I've actually been putting these in over in these other areas. I don't have any signs here yet, because this is totally new stuff. I don't have one here. I'm thinking about putting boosters in pretty much everywhere now, because when you get used to that speed, like the, type, the accelerators, you don't want to go slow. Like, I I might as well run right here. I feel like I'm moving so slow, uh, and I need to put something in here. This is too slow. So here's another one. Let's see what it can do with this. There we go. Need to be able to get around your base really fast, right? Sweet. So I'm going to show you the, the just the skeleton of the um, manufacturing facility so far. What I've got really is this thing. It's going to be all hidden, which I think is really cool. All the trains are going to be located inside the building, inside the facility. To me, that's amazing. I've never done that on this uh, season yet. And you can see me laying out kind of the, the layout. And I'll talk about more about that later. I need to build the rest of this building. Uh, again, it's not going to look super pretty. So don't, you know, whatever. I just wanted to use some different types of walls possibly. So I'll be right back. Let me build this thing. And we can get to the actual build today. Okay, it's been, I don't know. It's been four hours or so. And this is why I can't do this kind of stuff. Look at this building though. It's super sweet. This is probably my favorite building so far by a lot. Um, and I wish I could spend another 30 hours on it. It's probably how long it would take to make it look, to like finish it off and make it look as cool as I want it to look. Eventually, I hope I can do that if I have the time. And I think this is the last building I have to build. So if that's the case, then that's then I can do it, okay? But this is such a sweet looking building, super futuristic. Um, yeah, how do you get in there, though? There, there are no stairs, Nether. How do you, how do you get in the door there? Because they're, they're the train entrance and exits, right? That makes sense, but how do you get up there? There's no stairs, buddy. Oh, like this. Yeah, that's how you do it. Looking sweet, huh? Yeah, baby. It's the Death Star, sort of. So I got it kind of hooked up. Uh, and this is how I'm doing the, the coloring and stuff like that. I think you can turn it off too. Night mode off? Nah, I'm gonna leave these on all the time. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's how I'm doing that. Pretty sweet, huh? Then back here I've got um, a little storage area. This that actually might. Man, I really want this to end up being my base, to be honest. It's just so cool looking, man. I don't wanna build this again, and I, and I probably won't build it as cool. So I don't know, I'm thinking about making this my base. Anyway, I got a bunch of storage right here. Uh, if you go back here, I got my machine stuff, so I, I had to make some beacons and everything to make trains. You can see we got one of the manufacturer. I got one of them set up. I actually have, uh, supported platforms. That's kind of cool. This whole this whole building's not supported yet, but I have some plans on how to do it. But anyway, so it looks really sweet. It's all done. Uh, well, sort of. I've got some stuff going on down there. Is not really done because I this actually kind of. The, the idea came to me as I was building it, so it's kind of undone a little bit, and we've got to s switch some stuff up. So we've also got under here like a giant area for logistics and stuff, since we will need to crisscross four items at a time uh, for these guys, a lot of these guys. Um, and we'll go downstairs in a second. Um, but we need to get to heavy modular frames. So you can see I've got it kind of set up, and I really want to take this piece out, but I, I can't do it yet. I've got to put down the manufacturers before I can take the center pieces out. But I uh, use Micromanager to move these around to get it just right like I've always done. And uh, we're going to let it rip, man. We're going to let it rip. So first thing we're going to do is get all these machines hooked up. We're going to set them all up. I want five of them. So we're just going to do something like this. 
Now, I probably could do six. I think this is enough space for six. I actually didn't check how much space was going to be in here. But I think I have enough for one more. It would stick out a tiny bit. Like, if I did that... I, well, I can't really see, but it would stick out a tiny bit. I could maybe just take off these two ladders right there and it'd be totally fine. Um, logistics would probably still work even because I think I think the inputs for these guys... Yeah, they're a little bit inside the line there, so... So we go down here. This is not done yet, but I want to keep it concrete, I think. It seems more stable for trains to be on concrete or something like that. So I left this as concrete, but the coloring is not finished. Um, I got a, a couple of these... Uh, stations in. You can see I haven't even finished the walls or anything. But again, I've do been doing this for like four hours already, so this is as good a as it gets for right now for a video. I've got this guy all hooked up. He's pretty simple, just his floor hole and everything. Um, but the four car ones are going to be a little different. So, with the way these are going to work too is, some of the things that are coming in are subcomponents, they only have one car. Some of the things coming in are raw materials, they are on four car systems, right? So we have to have two separate lines here, a one car line and a four car line, and we'll have to mix and match with our um, supply stuff. So this guy's already set up, he's demand, manufacturing center, um, modular frame. It's gonna be the regular modular frame stuff. Let's get a train on the track here for this guy. He's all set up and should just be able to let her rip, and he's gonna go get us stuff so let's put that guy down with one car. Uh, you know what? I don't have any of the signaling at all. I have zero signaling. So why don't we do that? The signaling for this stuff is pretty easy. Okay, so that's good. We don't have any signaling up top, but I think it's, again, it's only one way in, one way out. There's really not a, really a way you can screw this up with how many trains I'm going to have on the station. So let's let's get this guy requesting or going to get stuff for us. Then we'll set the second guy. We have two of these things we need are um are going to be subcomponents and two are raw materials. So we're going to have to set up another four car train over there. No big deal. Okay, so we're going to name this guy Demand. Oops, Demand. Well. Caps lock is on. Caps lock. Demand. Manufacturing center. Which also, I guess, is munitions facility, right? Manufacturing center. That's a good one. Well, nope. I don't want that guy on. Uh, center. That's actually better. Uh, modular frame. Okay, that's what this guy's called. Let's get out of this and change the station name real quick. Because I want to make sure that I don't screw this up. Manufacturing center. Okay. Enter. Okay, good. All your acronyms. You can't reuse acronyms. It doesn't really work. <laughs> I like the um, color scheme, too. I think it's kind of neat. There aren't that many color schemes I really like in this game, so it is what it is. Okay, so this guy is about right here. Yeah, there we go. There's the supply. Now, you're going to need to do this until you're full. So please go do that. And then you're going to come back to this station right here where we would need the frames until you're empty. Again, demand stations are demand stations are the ones that have the trains. Supply stations are just empty. They're always waiting to receive, okay? Waiting for new dudes. Okay, let's get another train here, but let's back him up a little bit because this is actually for this guy right here. Oh, there's no turnaround. It shouldn't matter. Let's get this guy on the outbound though just in case we have that weird screw up like we did before where um now this is a big loop so the guys come in here and they get on the loop. Now this guy's going to go out on the loop over there and he's going to exit over the far side over there. But inside here is a giant loop and also that's because if we make anything here that's required here, it just goes on the loop until and goes in, right? It doesn't have to leave this, the facility. It doesn't have to leave the manufacturing center. All right, let's get the second one going. But first we're going to need it. Um, we're going to need to name the station. He is Demand Manufacturing Center. Industrial encased beam. I think EIB is what it is. We can look. Well, we'll look when we put it on the train. If it's not, we'll just rename it something else. Let's color this guy before I get too far into this. All right, let's name this guy. Uh, let's not name him yet. Let's figure out what it's called first. Um, industrial encased beam should be right down here. Turbo. It's before turbo fuel. I know that. Ah, IC beam.
Encased industrial beam. EIB is what it should be. Encased industrial beam. Oh, well, we'll have to change that other uh, station when we get down there, because that's actually wrong. Uh, so, oh, I didn't save the changes. It's encased industrial beam, right? Yeah, yeah, I did it right. Is that, isn't that correct? Yeah, okay. So, now we know what to name this guy. MC, encased industrial beam, right? He doesn't, yeah, we gotta find this dude again. Uh, okay, this guy, even though he's not named correctly, that's totally fine. It's not like we're like, oh, you know what? We're too highbrow for this. We're not gonna use this guy because he's named incorrectly. All right, so we got, uh, that's our second demand, right? So we're gonna be doing a lot more retrains on these builds because they are much more train intensive, much more resource intensive, right? So he's gonna go get us some more stuff. And I already set him up to, we should do unload though. I almost forgot to do that. We don't want him to go all the way back. That's a really long trip. I was trying to do like something in the between, in between like a better way for these guys to get here, a faster way. But I haven't put that in yet. I think I'm just going to cross over and go down the, the global track down there, I think. Because this is really far. This guy is going to be demand, manufacturing center, concrete. This is going to get us concrete, okay? Super, super simple. Oh, they have no power. How does he have no power? How is that possible? He's connected to the track. Uh, this guy has power, right? Is that right? He does. So, how does this guy not... Oh, he's not connected. His track isn't connected. Okay, so we... Pff, he can't do anything. So, let's put his train on the track here. I want to make sure these guys get back before we want to do stuff. Two, three, four. Uh, let's color this dude. And then let's tell him, you're going to go get me concrete, so... Your name is Demand Manufacturing Center Concrete. And this is one of the first ones we put on there, I think, so it shouldn't be too deep. Yeah, there it is, Supply Concrete. Now, this probably should be listed as a um, raw material, but it is what it is. If it comes out of a... Basically, if it comes out of a um, constructor, I consider it a raw material. Now, an, an assembler is a subcomponent... And I don't know what this is. Manufactured component, I guess. Manufactured product, MP. So you're going to go here. And again, just like all the other trains, literally, I wish you could just set it a fault. That'd probably be better. There, go get us concrete. I, I have faith in you. Go get it. Go get it for us. Okay, so let's get the rest of this guy's logistics set up. When I'm done with these train areas, I don't want to have to come back down here. I want all the stuff to flow in. So the way I'm going to do this, because we're only going to have one input, but we don't need... 49 input belts on this thing, okay? We're only going to run one run, run one line of manufacturers. We only need one line. So I'm just going to um, do this, really. Well, maybe we should add one more to this. Yeah, make him fully supported. We don't need this guy. That's the guy that we don't need. All right, sweet. Let's try this one more time. And am I going to get a line? Yes. There. We're going to merge these two lines, basically. Then we're going to merge all this stuff up. We're basically going to merge this whole thing into one line. The reason I have four cars... You're probably thinking, well, why do you have four cars in the nether? nether? Um, the reason is, is because... This guy consumes a lot of this product, and I want to make sure I can really get it to him fast, right? So what does this mean? It means we're going to have to upgrade all these belts, at least these two belts right here. So why don't we upgrade them to Mark IVs? That's the size we can go for now. And then we're going to do a Mark IV belt up here. Right? But I want to put a floor hole in first. Because I want to make sure that this guy is, like, really tight. I want him to, to, to almost touch the, the merger. And so that's how you do it. That's how, how I've been doing it. And then I just come up here and put the floor hole in like that. And then, um, actually, mm, no, we don't want that floor hole. Now we want it to do this. From the floor hole, it's receiving. Boom. There, now it's real tight. Nice. I like it. Uh, let's color all this stuff we just added. The belts and everything. We're going to build the same system, basically, over on the, other, on the other train. 
Uh, there's one more belt, right? Yes, okay. There, now he's all set up. One entry point, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually build this other train off camera because I, I don't want to spend that much time. You've seen me set this other four, um, four car one up. I'm going to make one more and then send that guy out. And I will meet you over, well, we're going to go upstairs and build stuff. Then we're going to bring it down to our other stations where it's going to collect. And then we'll be done with this video. So hold on a second. All right, that's the guy leaving to get his steel pipes right there. This the whole thing is set up, and I had to change the setup a slight a bit here because I just don't have as much space, and I didn't think I didn't think of that. So this setup is a little bit different. It's a little bit more compact. It it's a little bit more janky, but it's okay. It all fits in one. It all does the same thing. The thing I also did was um, upgrade these lifts to tier four. I changed my hot bar to be just Mark IV belts on, on my train bar here. So every belt now will just be Mark IV. It's so much easier. Uh, so that guy should go get us that. I also forgot to switch this to unload, so the, the concrete guy showed up and took off again. So I changed it. He, he should be fine. Uh, we got someone else coming in. Who's this? This is probably industrial encased beams. Or encased industrial beams. It could be frames. I don't know who this is. We'll figure it out in a second, though. Man, it looks so sweet down here. I can't wait to get the walls in and stuff. There are not... Uh, there might be some windows down here. Probably not. I don't think the outside of the building is going to have any windows. It's going to be like a secret facility or something. Okay, this is industrial case beams. So he's only got one box. And everything's Mark IV. So, yeah, he's already full. He's already good. But uh, he's not full, full, right? The box isn't full. The train's not full. He's going to have to make two or three trips to really fill up this system. That's why when we put one of these in, our whole system goes nuts. And we just start burning through all our resources and power and stuff. It gets pretty ridiculous. So that was kind of fun watching this guy come in for the... When I was watching the other guy come in for the first time, that was kind of fun. So I figured I might as well get, let you guys uh, see it. Get, you, give you guys a chance to watch that. Damn it, can't even talk. Yeah, so we're up to over to about 2,500 because our whole system is ka-chunking and churning. And we really are going to have to, after we get these couple of things on there, go down and kind of expand the whole thing. Because now we're going to be requesting a lot more than we usually than we usually do request. So let's get back up there now and hook up those uh, manufacturers and stuff and get moving. All right, so we're up here in the logistics area. And we just hooked up these trains, and they're pretty far apart. But that's okay. Where's our first dude? He's right here. So let's start setting up the logistics for how this is going to work. Um, now, I'm probably just going to do a stack of four. It seems to be the easiest. Um, that's kind of a trick that Rami showed me. Uh, um, I'm sorry, um, Jesse showed me. It's not really a trick. It's just, And actually, he said he doesn't really do it that way usually. But um, that's one another thing I'm kind of tired of is having to set up all this power stuff. Uh, it would be really nice if the hover pack just ran off like turbo fuel or something like that. I think that's just, it would just be better. Having to have all these weird power lines in, in your in your base is kind of dumb. Anyway, we're going to leave this on the outside. So let's just get it let her rip. And, ooh, it's going to be really hard to make sure this works out, isn't it? So obviously he's going to be coming in from that direction. Really, the first one is the only one I need to get correct. Yeah, that. Mm, I wouldn't say that's right. I think it's probably better right there. So let's get that guy reset here. Right. Let's see if that's better. Yeah, that's better. Let's try to do a lift and see what happens. Uh, see how they stick out? I hate that. I don't want them to stick out. I want them to go onto the machine. I don't know why they stick out so far. You know, one way I can do this is move the splitter in more. But we're already right up on the steel beam there, so probably can't do that. All right, well, it is what it is, right? The thing is, it sticks out, and then you can't put another guy. You know, it's it's too much space. You waste a lot of space because of that. It's like at max. Why won't it click? There we go. It's like at max distance. Why would you want max distance? Wouldn't you want it as close as possible? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, another way we can do it is figure out a different way to support these guys. Another reason this why supports can sometimes be a pain. Because um, I'd like to get another system in here. Like, I want to get these guys pretty close together. I don't want to, you know, waste two or three foundations just because the, the lifts decide they want to stick out, you know? 
Hmm. I could put a floor hole in. But that's a, such a pain. And actually, it wouldn't go all the way down like that because this is number four, so it'd be actually the highest up one. Um. I mean, I guess we could leave it. Well, where would the next thing be? Like, right here, basically? We would have enough to put the next guy down and move him around to. Because he's going to be right in the center, right? Like, we're going to have a merger right there, pretty much. Yeah, that, that should work, I think. Because if it hugs this side, it shouldn't touch any of this other stuff. So we should be able to put the next line, like, right here. But it would be really nice just to put it right up against this, almost, right? Like I've been doing at other factories. But it'll it'll do. It's fine. Okay, so let's get this hooked up. This is actually incorrect, so let's take it out. Let's... And I need to make sure that my... This guy is not... A t is he a tier... Okay, he's a Mark III. Good. Because I don't need that much stuff in, in this part, right? Just a little bit. So let's get all these down like this. We're going to turn them like that. Right? And then we just have to look to make sure it's the right height. Is that the right... No, that's the right height. But first, we're going to get all these guys hooked up. Right? Let's hook all these guys up. There we go. And I don't have any lights in here, but that's fine. Oh, you know what I need to do is put on my flashlight. There we go. That'll help. Oh, that's off. Is this guy off? No, he's good. Okay. Not really sure why that, that guy was off. This is the tallest stuff I've ever built, guys. <laughs> Looks really cool, though. Oh, we don't need that. Pretty simple, pretty fun, though. Pretty easy, I think. We'll see. Looks pretty easy, but looks can be deceiving, guys. Looks can be deceiving. Let's get all these guys in, um, and then we'll just do each floor at the same time. I'm wondering if that'll just be easiest. And I've already got the power situation set up how I want it. So we'll do that right after these guys. Uh, yeah, we're going to go down to three, right? This looks like a belt splitter. Or like a belt balancer. Actually, I think it's right there. Yep, that's correct. Okay, so I think how we can do this is get on floor three. And just move down like that. Yeah, there we go. We can kind of eyeball it from here. That's going to be way faster. See, if you didn't have hover... This would take just days. Let's do number two. And then we'll do number one at the same time as well. This would literally just take 9,000 years if you didn't have the hover pack. And it already takes a long time. Like I said, I've been working on this building for like four or five hours. No, I don't want that. I want this. There we go. It's getting confused. Because I'm next to a power line in the background here. All right, so we're almost done with this. This is actually really simple. It's probably because I haven't hooked anything else up yet. So I have plenty of space to move around. All right, crate. Crate. Crate, guys! It's working! All right, let's get this stuff in. Please work. Please don't make me move you again. Why? Why is this happening? That should work. And familiar barrel is an invalid shape. It seems... Oh! What, what it, it did something and then wanted to work. Well, that's dumb. It should easily be able to make that turn. I don't understand. Let's watch. These bottom ones will be fine. Yeah, see? It's too close, probably. It's like, oh, it's too close, bro. That's too close. It's not that close. <laughs> it's because that dumb little thing right there. Just do it anyway. Oh, oh, oh! Mmm, yeah, that's not right. <laughs> that's awesome! <laughs> that's awesome! I'm gonna leave it there, but I can't. God, I wish it was... Well, you... <laughs> I don't know how this isn't... Oh, watch out. It'll do that. Well. You know, why don't we try this with this one? Why don't we do this if it doesn't want to do that? Will it do this? If that's the case, I'll just turn them all. Oh, no, I can't do that because that's the next belt. Right? That's the next machine. It, it, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. If I went up, would it work? Probably. 
If I go down, it works. So that's. Let me see if I go up. If it works, probably won't. This is this is probably gonna be worse, actually. Yeah, it's it's too much. She doesn't like it. Hmm. I could go back with all of them, and now I wish I wouldn't have set them all up. I should have set up one machine first off. Well, these guys are good. Let's take this guy out. Let's reset this guy because he's not where I want. Is gonna, I'm gonna want him now. Let's try to move these back. Let's just move them back one. Like, who cares, right? So let's go like that. Oops. All right, so I, it, all these guys will turn. I mean, I guess that works. Well, now this guy doesn't want to fit. I have to go back again. I mean, I guess I can go back four. Let's just let's do it. Let's just let's just do it. Actually, why don't I do this? I can get this guy in line. Okay, so what are we on? Okay, we're right on the little foundation marker. This is weird, though. I don't like doing this. It still won't do it? Why won't this work? That is so far away. That's so much room. I don't understand. I'll go back even further. This is so... This is weird, but okay. We'll do it. Let's go back this far. Let's just be... I'm gonna be a little bit sarcastic here. Oh, now it works. Why is that? It's turning way out. Well, we're going to have to remove these supports. These aren't going to work. I'll put these back in when it works. And then we'll just move these back a little bit. I'll figure out where these need to be later. All right, sweet. Let me clean this all up. We'll be right back. All right, we're going to try this again. I heard trains coming and going downstairs, so I think we have lots of product just waiting for us. All we have to do is get this build in. So I'm going to do it the same as I did, but I'm going to do it further away. Uh, I'm going to do it, like, I don't know, right there? Like, is that far enough? I hope it is. Let's just try it on one machine. Let's try something that works. And then we'll see if we can just add in the other guys. So this guy is not going to connect. Because he's got to be way far back. So we'll connect him in to make sure he works. Then this guy, again, is going to turn. Let's. This is the only one that really matters. Let's just try this guy. There, now he works. So just inside that line is where it works. Okay. So let's get down here. And I don't know where the... There we go, right there. Is that correct? Yeah, that's that looks right. And then here... Uh, no, that's a little off. How would you do this without the hover pack? You'd have to put an observation tower every two seconds just so you could get up here and get the vantage point of where these things are lined up. I think they need to figure out a slick way to, like, We'll really just give you the hover pack earlier. That's what I would do if I was dev in this game. Okay. Now let's hook the rest of this up again. Get on the same level. In fact, that's why we should probably just do one at a time, right? So we can be on the same level. Actually, I think we can do all of them that way. All right. Cool. Next guy. Yep. Yep. Simple. Simple stuff here. Now that we know it fits, at least. So I guess the... The thing with supports is you just do them at the end. When you know your build already works and you know where, where everything's going to need to go, I guess is when you do it. I don't usually use supports for my stuff, so I had no clue when. I didn't had no clue about that. All right, so we're just getting the last of these guys in. Luckily, we don't have 9,000 machines to put in. And because these are more complex and don't require so many machines, or we can't use that many machines really, um, we don't have to. We don't need the blueprints as much. But again, blueprints would be nice to have. Definitely nice to have. So those go out a little bit. I don't even care. At least it fits. That's what she said. All right, let's get all these belts. Nope. Let's get all these belts in, and then I'll do the main belts so we can feed all these guys. The next machines, I mean. And I might alter this on the next build to be a little bit closer. But for now, this is working. I really just want to... That guy's built incorrectly. Let's see if we can actually work it with this guy. That still works. Oh, no. See, it doesn't work.
Now, see, that's off in the distance. So, yeah, I there is no way to do it closer. That's one tick closer, and it didn't work. So it does have to be this far back, and it is what it is, guys. This is how we're doing it. There we go. Okay, let's get this guy back in. Like that. There we go. Um, back to belt. All right. Back to what we were doing. All right, that's all in. Let's go around to the other side and get the feeder belts in. Again, now this is something it would be nice to blueprint. I probably could do this with smart, to be honest. But I also don't want to use Mark IV belts for all this. I just don't have that kind of... Um, I don't have those kind of resources available, really. It's getting kind of late in the day today. But now that this facility is built, I can add one of these in, and it doesn't take me nine years to do off-camera stuff. Oops. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the product that we just gathered, all the raw, re raw materials, all the uh, subcomponents and stuff, and we're going to route them into these guys from the back. So, this guy's easy, right? That guy may be a little bit more difficult. Probably go right in front of the stairs right there. But let's get this guy in first. And we're going to want this guy definitely to be Mark IV. We're going to want all this stuff now to be Mark IV. But before I actually hook him up, let's go around here and figure out how we're going to do this. These two guys can just hook to right there. That's, that's no big deal. In fact, they could be on the bottom for all I care. Because these other guys are going to come from over here. Actually, they have to be right here, huh? They have to turn. Okay, so they're going to turn around and go in like that. These two guys are going to come around this way and go up to the, these higher up areas. So why don't we just prep that? Why don't we prep? Because we know we're going to be needing some supports right here, right? And so this guy as well... I don't know if it'll do that. Let's draw this belt in first. Nope, that is not it. Like that, right? And then we're going to turn it. Okay, for this guy, we're going to turn him on that. So why don't we do this, and we'll set the other guy up the same way. We're going to turn him to right here. I just need to know where the support goes. Okay, good. We can put him right there. Okay, this guy we can hook up. In case industrial beams, you're good. Do your thing. Do your worst. Now, we don't really need Mark IV all the way down. This guy isn't taking that many of these of these things. So there's really no point in having Mark, Mark IV all the way down. It doesn't make much sense. We will, if, if it becomes a problem, we'll change it, okay? All right, now we know where this guy needs to be. So let's do him down here as well. Let's actually draw him in from over here now. That is a Mark IV good. We want it to be like that, and then we're just going to take belt off this guy in this direction, like so. Till we get to here, back it up too, right? Now, this, uh, no, actually, I want to stack it. So, why don't we put the stacker, I don't know, probably like right here, right? I don't know if it'll do that, but we're going to try it. Now, I'm going to put this guy back here, because I think I can make that turn. Let's try to make that turn here first. Actually, we have to do it from here. Yeah, that'll that'll work. Okay, let's hook these guys up again, because now I've got a bunch of frames on me. How many, actually? Oh, okay, that's not that bad. Okay, so here come the frames now. Just two more guys to set up. I might run out. I'm going to run out industrial beams. Oh, no, I'm not. Let's go downstairs and rob some. This is one thing I love about having product. No, seriously. Stop trying to fly here. Caps lock is on again. Being at a place where I have this stuff available. Let's go rob this dude right here. There we go. Okay. Oh, cool. Let's watch this guy. He's um, offloading the pipe. Very nice. We already have a whole load in here, so he's just filling up the... Um, Filling up the uh, reservoir here. Filling up the buffers. This is a lot of buffer. We probably don't need this much, but that's okay. I don't mind it. It's not like other games where you have a finite amount of resources, so you don't want this much in your system. That's another reason why I kind of like non-infinite nodes for resources, is because you have to manage your supply very closely. You can't have this kind of buffer just sitting around all the time. It doesn't work that way. You'll run out of 
iron or some other th stuff. Oh, this is what I want to do here, too. Let's just make it look nice. Put a little railing in right here. Protect people, right, so they don't fall. Color it. Our color for this building here. It's kind of like the Death Star, sort of. All right, we got our encased industrial beam. So let's get this working. I'm so glad we had that, so I didn't have to go all the way back. Although now I have those hypertube cannons and stuff, so or accelerators. So it's really not that bad. Let's go. Do, nope. Nope. Oh, you had it. There you go. And in. There it is. Sweet. Okay, those guys are set up. So let's actually set this up. Right? So we know where we want it. That looks good. And then I'm going to want... And that goes backward. Got to be really careful with this. Now we should have a conveyor belt, though. Very good. Very good. Now we're going to want one of these dudes... And let's do it again in, in the correct direction. Great. Now we're going to start ka-chunking. Heavy, um, heavy modular frame. It's going to be so awesome. Let's get this guy on number three. And then we will do... Let's see. Let's go out that direction. So these pipes, I'm going to have supply. Anybody that needs pipes, we already have a train. It's going to split off of this, okay? And I don't think this can be a big problem because um, there's tons of supply. It's not that big of a deal. I'm going to snake over. There we go. I'm going to do that. That looks kind of cool. I like when I do that. It's not a weird curve. It's totally cool. Boom. Now let's get this guy moving. Our last dude, which I want to say is concrete. And let's draw him in first. So we might get some clipping with this guy, but if we do, I don't care. He's temporary anyway. we got to make sure we color these guys. We cannot forget that. Now, I think I did this. Right? And then I put um, one of these guys in. But let's go over a little bit so it's not so jank as the other one. Now, after this, we're going to start ka-chunking. This is it. This is the last of our materials we have to give this guy. Boom. First build with Mark IV belts, actually. Nice. Here we go. They're going to start. Well, they don't have power yet. Let's give them power real fast. I have all the power nodes set up. I just have to actually use them. I'm just going to do it underneath. That's another great thing about these supports, is I can actually just put the power down here. So they kind of serve two purposes. So uh, here, hooked three of them up. This guy's going to have to pull double duty here. There we go. Now everybody should be ka-chunking. As soon as they get everything they need, I'm sure this guy's already rough. Nope, not yet. Stuff's still filtering in. Remember this is a... Um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's a manifold system, so the first guy's got to get all his stuff before everybody else gets anything. But it works a lot faster now that we have higher tier belts. Okay, these guys are all doing stuff. And now we want them to drop into these mergers, right? So let's get these mergers rocking. Because we are running out of time, guys. We are running out of time. Now, this is not so important where it goes. Because uh, we're just literally going to hook it in with a um, with a lift. And this guy, I think, is our... Oh, no. We need one more guy here. That guy is in line. Okay, that's the last guy. Let's get those lifts on there. T Mark threes are more than enough. Great. They actually hook in. No brainer right here. This is super easy. Always the easiest part. Uh, that guy's a little off, so let's fix him. Then we got to make sure we color all these, too. I almost forgot about that. So these guys sound a little different. They're not, a lo not as much ka-chunking. So 2.8, let's say it's 2.8 2 times 5. We're getting 14 per minute, plus a little excess, maybe 15, basically. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, we have to, you know, uh-oh. Let's make this guy go up a little bit earlier so he doesn't mess with our out out output belt. I don't know, let's do it, like, right here, probably. There we go, we can raise him up. All right. Uh, no, let's not do that, because it's getting in the way a tiny bit. 
Let's do it like right there. No belt. Oop. These conveyors are very picky. There we go. So this guy will line them up first and then we'll go up. So it looks a little bit nicer. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, now we can get this guy in. Let's get all these dudes in so we can start collecting this stuff. We won't put it in a box. I guess we could run it all the way to the train. The train's not really hooked up, but it basically runs all the way over here. Now, this is why I left us so much space. And honestly, we should probably run the train stuff as on this wall as much as possible so it doesn't get in the way. Because now the stuff's going to be in the way. We should have ran it all the way back here, pulled it in at the last second. Because now i got to go over him with the other guy. And actually, let's raise him up too. Just like we did the original guy over there. Oops. Fill this back in. Look, I don't have to paint it. Alright, so this guy is going to be... I don't remember. I don't remember. Jesus. But I know he goes to about there, I want to say. And then we're going to put this... I think we had it like right here for the other guy. Yeah, this one's back here. Oops, that's not in line. Super awesome system. I love this building, too. It's just it's so cool, man. It just looks so sweet. All right. Resupply this guy. Boom. Okay, cool. And now... Oh, way over there, you can see there's the floor hole for this guy. So let me draw this in real quick. We'll be done. This is pretty amazing. Tell me what you think in the comment section about this build. Um, I'm really excited about this building. De I would say definitely my probably my best looking building to date. All right, let's get down there and check it out now. We've got a bunch of them coming down the, the line. They were all stoppered up, right? So that's going to give our train at least a little bit, right? We should actually color this on the way back so I don't forget. I wish I could set up for like a certain building to have a certain color and it would just automatically draw everything that color. That'd be really cool. Tell me in the comment section if there's a better way to do this because this feels like kind of a really slow way to do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Nether made me dizzy. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Enough screwing around, dude. All right, there we go. Last dude, I think. Ah, there's a couple of holdouts in here. I hear him still. You hear him when it goes dink, 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 dink? That means it's hitting one. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, let's go check it out. Everybody's painted. Let's go look at the train for this guy. He's all the way up the other side, and I'm pretty sure he's not colored correctly, but it doesn't really matter because uh, we're not sending this guy anymore. Oh, no, he is. Oh, I did color this. Sweet. This part's not colored. Oops. Again, this takes just forever. I wish I could paint this whole platform. You know what I mean? Just give me a, like a, what's that called? Like a bucket painter. All right, let's check this dude out. Enough stuff's painted. Okay, 75. That's not bad. I'm going to rob the whole thing because we got to build more of these guys. But now I don't have to feed, hand feed that build downstairs, right? And back at base. So let's name this guy, even though we're not going to use him for anything, but might as well. Supply, manufactured, good, right? Uh, heavy machine or heavy modular frame. There we go. That guy's good to go now. This guy is going to be computers. So if you noticed, I got a couple of hard drives uh, unlocks, alternate recipe unlocks off camera. Caterium computer, which means I don't even have to build the oscillators. I can go right to computer. And it's really simple, actually. It does require manu a manufacturer. I can't do it in an assembly plant. But it's faster. I get more computers per minute. And I don't have to go through the, the, um, the other build, right? I don't have to do a sub build. So we're going to do that. We're going to say this guy is demand. This is what we're going to do on the next episode. Manufacturing, oh, manufactured product, computer. Boom. Nice. So we're going to do, next we're going to do circuit boards. I already had to do that. And then we're going to do computers. And then we're going to get back to, once that, that's pretty much everything all the way up to, through tier six that we need. We're going to unlock, do some train unlocks to make our trains faster. Then we're going to get to probably 
bolstering our whole system. Then we'll get into Tier 7 and Tier 8, because I know Tier 7 and Tier 8 um, have, are a lot heavier on requirements for subcomponents and things like that. So our whole system is going to have to be a lot faster. So anyway, hopefully you liked this episode. If you did, hit the like button. It does help. If you're new here and you like this, please hit subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when I release videos. I release videos every morning at 10 a.m. There will be a new game coming online. I know I want to play a game in December that is going to be coming out, and also Kerbal Space Program 2 in February. Anyway, I will talk to you on the next one. Stay Frost.